In this Starfield video, we will be taking a look at the best Star Wars ship designs created by the community. Before we do get into these awesome works of art, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future Starfield videos. So since the game has released in early access, the Starfield community has been hard at work creating all kinds of things for the game, from incredible ship designs to awesome mods. Now, the ship designs have, of course, had a lot of inspiration from Star Wars. So many people have been trying to recreate their favourite Star Wars ships in the game, and it has been possible, to be honest. Even though a lot of the parts aren't things that we see in Star Wars, a lot has been recreated pretty damn well within the game. So you are able to pilot some iconic ships from Star Wars in Starfield as your main ship, or one of the secondary ships, whatever ship you want to use in the game. A lot of the ships are coming from the original trilogy era, that just does make sense, but there are some Clone Wars era ships, as well as the post-Return of the Jedi era with the Mandalorian stuff, so it's pretty cool to see, and we will be taking a look at the very best I've seen. The first one is going to be the Razorcrest by Supermarket Decent 306 on Reddit, and as you can see, they did an absolutely incredible job recreating the Mandalorian ship, the Razorcrest, which was gone far too soon. Not only does it look really accurate to what we actually got in the show, but Supermarket Decent also added text to display what parts are which, so you can actually recreate this version of the Razorcrest for yourself in your own Starfield game. To me, this is by far one of the best Star Wars ship designs that have been recreated in Starfield yet. It's just a really good recreation. Next up is the Y-Wing from Smythe on Reddit, and whilst the proportions are a little bit out, this is still really damn good. As you can see, it looks just like the Y-Wing, and I think this is fantastic. There has been a few people create Y-Wings, but I would say this is the best one. Much like with the Razor Crest, these are just the very best that have been created for these two ships so far. Another ship that features yellow that has been recreated is Anakin's Jedi Interceptor from Revenge of the Sith. This was made by Lord Jasper on Twitter, and as you are able to see, it looks pretty damn good. It even has R2-D2 in the side of the ship, which is just a real nice touch. It is missing the end plates for the wings that open up in attack position, but nevertheless, this is really good. I've seen a couple of Anakin's interceptors been recreated in Starfield, but this is by far the best one. Next up is one ship that is less popular than the others, but is still looking fantastic in this recreation. It's the Rogue's Shadow, which is Starkiller ship from Star Wars The Force Unleashed. This was created by Zero97, and as you can see, it's a really well-made design. It has the shape down to a T, I think. It's really, really well done. And if you are a fan of the Rogue Shadow, I know some people have been asking on my channel, is someone going to recreate it in Starfield? Well, the answer is yes, because they've done it right here, and it looks great. On to the main Falcon, which has been recreated by so many people. It's by far the one that has seen the most designs within Starfield so far. And I have to say, this one from Crunkstep77 on Reddit is the best, in my opinion. I feel like this is the perfect middle ground, because some I've seen are either far too big, have far too much greebling, are far too smooth, the prongs are too wide or too long, the cockpit isn't correct, but in my opinion, this is the best. It has the most accurate proportions that can be done within Starfield, in my opinion. Another really awesome ship design that has been recreated within Starfield is the Republic Cruiser that we saw at the beginning of The Phantom Menace. This is a ship quite a few people do like, and the Mighty Milkman on Reddit did post this version of it in Starfield, and it's done really, really well. From the design to the colour scheme, it's nailed, in my opinion, with what parts are available within Starfield. I know a lot of people will enjoy using this as their main ship. It's one of the more bigger ships compared to ones that we've seen within this video so far, so I think people will really enjoy using it. The iconic X-Wing was recreated by Fudgy Brown on Reddit, and as you can see, it just looks fantastic. It has the silhouette down, very well done here. It even has a spot for the Astromech 
up top as well. I don't think it's possible with the parts available in the game, but an attack formation X-Wing would have also been pretty cool to see, but I just don't think we can do that with the parts in the game. A ship that does not get enough love, in my opinion, is the Delta Seven Jedi Starfighter that we see in Attack of the Clones. This version from Spying Ryan on Twitter shows Obi-Wan's Delta Seven from Attack of the Clones in Starfield. For me, this is a very good remake of what we see in the film. It's really well done and looks great, and I think people will enjoy flying this around Starfield if they wish to do so. The Ebon Hawk has been recreated by Mr. Dirilus on Reddit, and as you can see, from the colour scheme to the proportions, it's pretty good considering there are somewhat limited parts in this game for curvature, stuff like that. It's really well done in my opinion. I think this is the best iteration I've seen because a lot of people have been trying to recreate this ship even since before the game actually released, but this is, in my opinion, the definitive one that I've seen on social media. Another ship I've seen recreated by quite a few people, but has a definitive one, is the Ghost. So, Skibbles on Twitter created this version of the Ghost, which in my opinion is the best one that I have seen. It's got the colour scheme, it's got the proportions better than a lot of the others. If you're in the Ahsoka mood, given that the show is ongoing, and we finally got to see the Ghost in action in the most recent episode, then I think you'll really enjoy using this ship if you are inspired by this design. Another Rebellion ship joins the fray, and this is the B-Wing from Hayovs. It captures the design of the B-Wing pretty well, and incorporates the features needed to be an acceptable ship design in Starfield. So a really good job there, and definitely one of those ships that a lot of people do like, but is underrated still. Let's increase the size of these ships, and go to the Imperial Star Destroyer by Spectrex Gaming. So he has created a bunch of ships on his TikTok, and as you can see, this is a ship in Starfield inspired by the Imperial Star Destroyer. I've seen quite a few Imperial Star Destroyer designs on Reddit and places like that, and whilst they are wider than this in terms of proportions, so I think that's correct over this ship, they just don't get the overall look, in my opinion, correct, like the bridge and stuff, so this is definitely the best one there is out there. He also created a smaller ship in the form of the N1 Starfighter, which looks absolutely awesome in that yellow colour scheme. It's really well done here, and I think a lot of people really want to make this one. It's more of a simple ship to develop, I think, in Starfield. It's just got a simple shape and can be easily created. And here is the predecessor to the Imperial Star Destroyer, the Venator from the Republic. And as you can see, it takes a similar shape to the Imperial Star Destroyer. It does have that colour scheme and a slightly wider shape, and I also think the rear also looks really good, in my opinion. The engine location and whatnot is really good. And then we have the Tantiv IV, which is a personal favourite ship design of mine, and I'm sure a lot of other people, and once again, the dimensions are pretty well done. The colour scheme looks great and definitely does work in the case of Starfield in terms of the design, what it was meant to be used for, and of course its size. Let me know down in the comment section below which of these were your favourite. You can find all of these original creations by their creators in the description below. You just click on their links and some of them have put out guides, some of them haven't unfortunately, but hopefully more people are able to. But hopefully this gives you more inspiration as to what you want to recreate in Starfield from Star Wars. If you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe so you don't miss any future Starfield videos. If you did miss any of my previous ones, click on the playlist on the screen right now, and I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.